Hi, I'm Spencer Semple, uh, Vice President of Admissions for Blythe Academy, and I'm here today with Jennifer Long from uh, Blythe Academy Mississauga uh, campuses. Uh, a lot of current and prospective parents are uh, interested in the approach that Blythe Academy is taking um, with virtual classrooms. So I thought it would be great uh, if we were able to chat with Jennifer and uh, the first week of uh, uh, virtual classes is done. Uh, Jennifer, you know, I'd love to hear from you uh, how it went. Great, thanks Spencer. Um, obviously getting virtual classrooms off the ground in the first week was uh, challenging, but nothing that any of our staff couldn't rise to. We were well planned and well prepared for Monday morning. We had 100% support of all of our families and students. I think our first week was really successful, gauging from the feedback that we've gotten from our families and our students. We've had class discussions, we've had breakout sessions, we've had novel studies, we've had class presentations going on, um, in-home experiments in, in chemistry and some of the middle school science classes. Um, I think our, our best uh, gold star moment of this week was when we had 100% attendance on Wednesday. Wow, yeah, that's fantastic. We've definitely heard from a lot of the campuses um, that attendance has never been better and kids uh, love the commute from, you know, uh, you know, from their bedroom, you know, to the, you know, to the desk. Um, that's great. Uh, so you know, speaking of students, um, you know, how have the students been making out uh, and what's, uh, you know, what's some of the feedback uh, that you've received from them? So in speaking to some of our students, we've gotten all positive feedback. Some saying they prefer this better than having to drive to school. Um, some saying that having the teachers be available in office hours in a virtual setting in the afternoons has really helped and supported their academic knowledge. Lots of our grade 12 saying they're so happy that this was ready to go because they feel more prepared for post-secondary and in preparation for universities and colleges next year, knowing that they're getting all their curriculum knowledge. Of course, they miss their friends, um, they miss our school, they miss seeing each other, but you know, in the case that you just can't do that, I think we've come across the very best second option. Yeah, that's great. Something that we've chatted about a lot is that um, our students actually, they are all uh, digital natives. So although this kind of virtual setting in a lot of ways, you know, may not be as comfortable or familiar to us, they're used to FaceTiming, they're used to Skyping their friends, they're used to WhatsApp calling. So for them, it comes you know, a lot more natural. Uh, so it's been so great that you guys have been able to give, you know, to give that opportunity for engagement and learning in the virtual space. Um, Jennifer, how about parents? Uh, what's some of the feedback that you've received from parents so far? So we've gotten really positive feedback from parents. Um, our middle school parents just emailed this morning saying she's so um, amazed at how our platform is working for her son and is commending our ongoing communication um, and academic support for his schooling. Um, we've gotten feedback from parents who've had students that had struggled to attend school saying they love this, um, their kid is waking up. Um, we've had parents say, my son didn't want to get off of his online class. He wanted to finish his conversation with his friends. Um, they've been really, really impressed and very supportive. They, when we've sent an attendance announcement saying, hey, you know, little Joe is missing from English first period. They're like, hold on one minute, I'll go get him. And they get him and 10 minutes later, they're logged on and they're catching up. So we've had tremendous support and appreciation from our parents. Wow, that's fantastic. That's so great. Um, the big question that's on parents and students' minds right now is when will uh, physical campuses reopen? I know that we don't have clarity on that uh, from the Ministry of Education, um, but how sustainable do you feel this approach is moving forward? Uh, can we keep going uh, in this direction? Yeah, I think we're very sustainable and I believe um, if, we, if we maintain that communication and we maintain that support of our staff and our families and our students, um, we can, we can maintain this very easily um, in the next coming weeks. We've seen it being done in Italy very successfully. Um, we're lucky to have some guidance and leadership coming from people who are a few weeks ahead of us in this transition. Um, and, I, and I feel like uh, we're, we're very sustainable. Our kids are engaged, our parents are supportive. Um, and under the circumstances, we have a, a fantastic approach to academic rigor. That's great. Uh, well, thanks so much, Jennifer. It's been great to chat, and I'm sure that we'll be talking more about uh, Live Academy Mississauga soon. Um, and you have a great day. Thanks so much, Spencer. You as well.